Are you the type of golfer that generates some serious speed with your irons? Do you need to reduce the spin or keep that spin rate down? We're going to discuss three different iron shafts that are going to help you out on the golf course. Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell and Danny Farrell. We're both master club fitters at Second Swing Minnetonka. Today we're going to be talking about low spinning iron golf shafts. Mm -hmm. So today we're going to be dis discussing and testing the True Temper Dynamic Gold X100, the KBS Tour C Taper 130X, and also the Project X LS 6.5 125. Yeah, so you brought up a little bit of weight there. 125 is gonna be the lightest option we're working with today. That's from Project X. 130 and 130 are both gonna be with KBS Tour and the Dynamic Gold um, X100. The very trusted shafts on Tour, but talk to me a little bit about what you see visually different about the X100 compared to the other two. Well, we have steps and steps. we have no steps. Mm -hmm. So the X100, you'll kind of notice how there's these steps all the way down the golf shaft. Right. While the other two golf shafts, they, they are not graphite. No. They, they, they're painted to kind of look kind of like graphite, but they just look like there's just no steps down them. They look like they're very, very solid all through the golf shaft is okay. what it looks like. Okay, and steps, you know, help the shaft load and bend. You know, when we're talking this amount of weight, that player already has enough speed to do that themselves. But changing up steps versus no steps, no steps might provide a little bit of different feel for players as well. So it'll be, it, it'll be interesting to see how weight and step versus no step affect that ball flight for players. Right, and then like the stepped True Tampa Dynamic Gold has been a staple out for, for years. It's been always. S300 was always put in and iron sets back in the day. So it's, it's definitely stood the test of time. But you're right, feel is going to be different. It's gonna be player dependent, but feel is definitely gonna be something we're gonna be discussing today okay. as I'm gonna be testing these particular golf shafts. Yeah, uh, we're also gonna be testing with your head, okay, the one that you currently game, the TCB from Callaway. So we'll be using that. They're all gonna be standard length, standard lie. So it should be a straight shaft to shaft comparison on that. All right, well, let's get after it. All right, so Thomas, we're gonna lead out with the KBSC Taper 130. So another interesting to note, um, this is one of the options that don't have any steps or any help to make the shaft bend and unload for a player. So we'll start out with this, hit a few shots, and then kind of talk about the baseline numbers and go into the other two options as well. All right. Okay, so setting the bar pretty high, looking at kind of ball flight and carry numbers. Talk to me about feel initially, because this isn't a golf shaft you're typically used to playing. Right, it feels very stable. Okay. I love how stable it feels. Okay. It just feels like if I'm out of position, it helps me a lot knowing that this golf shaft is not twisting around at all. It's just, okay. just so stable in my hands. Sure. The only thing I don't like about it is still quite heavy. Right. For me, I play a golf shaft that weighs 125 grams. Okay. I, I've tried a little lighter, I've tried a little heavier, and I've found that 125 is kind of right in the ballpark where I'd like to be. Sure. But otherwise, this golf shaft feels really good and yeah, it's, it's solid. Yeah, it's very, very consistent. I mean, kind of look at these kind of baseline numbers, your club head speed, 88.8, okay? Output and smash factor, very nice job there. Launch angle, we're right at 20. So that's gonna be interesting to see if these other shafts playing a little bit with weight or similar weight with the X1, a little bit lighter with the 6.5 LS, if that changes launch a little bit. Spin wise, you're at 5,600, so a good healthy amount of spin on that golf ball. Very, very consistent there. Uh, one key number I wanna to touch on too is not only the height of the golf ball for you at 119, but also dynamic loft. You know, how much loft you're effectively showing at impact, whereas you know, different shafts bend and unload differently, so that might play to dynamic loft changes and launch condition, cha launch condition changes too for you. So let's jump into kind of the similar weight, the X100, kind of the most trusted on tour. Now we're changing from no steps in the seat taper back into steps here. Okay. So I'm interested to see your feedback feel-wise comparing a similar weight. All right.
So, talk to me about feel with this first. I mean, changing from stepless to steps. Did anything come out feel feel wise? You know, during the golf swing, did you feel that sensation at all? Yes, you did. From, from the first swing on, okay. I just felt like it's softer in my hands. Okay, it just felt like it, it impact. It just it felt softer. Okay, no. The weight of the shaft still felt very, very similar. Yeah. But it just, it's just hard, it's hard to explain, but it just didn't feel as boardy overall. I, I like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But and I mean, numbers wise, you can see really there's not too much difference. I don't, yeah, we're talking within one yard of, of distance there and right. pretty yeah. much the, the same numbers is what I'm used to seeing. Very, yeah. very similar launch angle. Club path the same, <laughs> dynamic loft the same, curve the same, height the same. Right. So for when it came, comes to those numbers, mm -hmm. it, I mean, the loft only golf club's good doing the job. Yeah. I have a pretty repeatable golf swing. Right. But it, it the feel, and that's gonna be different for everyone. But the okay. feel, this just one just felt like it just a little bit softer. It felt like there was a little bit more movement going on. Okay. As opposed to just nothing going on at all. Okay. So between the two so far, which one did you enjoy more, feel-wise? You know, C Taper, or the Project X one, uh, or I'm sorry, the True Taper 130. The I enjoyed the um, the C Taper. Interesting. Just a little bit better. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This one, I I don't know. It was just like too much movement across the entire golf shaft. Okay. Which okay. I know the golf shaft that I play is like the the LZ. It does have a little bit of ripples in the middle of the Some shaft. Micro stuff. So, yeah. so I kind of like that, but okay. I know it's stepless throughout, throughout. Yeah. I guess I just have I played a shaft that's been stepless for a while and it just sure. felt different. Sure. Yeah. So this should be an easy transition going into the next one for us. The Project X, something new to hit for 2022 is the LS. Got in the lower spin tendencies, kind of replicating that C taper a little bit as well, not only by looks, but also going stepless in the shaft as well. So this should be a really good test here with this one. All right, so talk to me about this. This is more of a weight you've been used to playing. I've played really well, so this should feel kind of at home to you weight-wise. Talk to me about that. Yeah, the, the weight was, was comfortable. Okay. Uh, I did like the fact that it was just a little bit lighter. Okay. Uh, I did notice there was a couple of shots in here that I didn't feel like I hit quite as well. Okay. No, my averages look the same. But there was, there was a couple, just a little bit of an outlier there, and that's, I that's why we're seeing that plus or minus number there, just a little bit larger. Yeah. We're talking, it's really hard to dissect when you're talking you know, plus or minus 1.9 yard. Right. But it just felt a couple, like a couple of them were just a little bit off. Okay. And I think we might see that on the dispersion pattern just a little bit more. Sure. Uh, sure. But otherwise, it's, yeah, it felt, it felt good. I like the weight. I like okay. the fact that it is stepless and feel like I got a little more control on it. Okay. It was just missing something to okay. me. It was just like, it was like, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Did that feel like the C taper though, in terms of the stepless pattern? Like it was kind of stout throughout. I mean, it felt like a lighter version of it, Okay. but playing like the, you know, playing the LZ golf shaft. Yeah. I think it's just missing, like, I like that feel, that little midsection there. Yeah. And I just felt like it was missing it, knowing that the okay. weight's the same. Okay. Okay. That's so the only thing I could say. It's, it's really hard to explain. Yeah. But it, it felt really good. Just a couple of swings were just a little bit looser. Okay. Maybe a little bit harder to load compared to the LZ. Yeah, I, I think that. that's it. And me having a quick transition mm -hmm. probably influenced that a little bit. Okay. Yeah. I mean, otherwise, numbers are basically about the same. I mean, we saw kind of the lowest launch with the X1, 19.8. We saw the lowest spin also with the X100 too. Yep. So two things to keep in mind there. We Both noticed that the LS had more club speed. So that's one thing I did, did know. And it did yeah. feel like I was generating a little bit more speed, okay. but just a little bit more out of control. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, we're talking five grams. So the yep. weight of three dollar bills in your pocket, not a whole lot, but it changed the dynamics of the shaft itself. Right. So. Yeah. Interesting there. Um, within a yard of one another, spin was very consistent across the board there. Nothing to bat an eye about. Um, club path and face, very, very similar. It's just that X1 uh, just help, held that face open a little bit more on average. Uh, dynamic loft all within 
you know, one degree of one another there too. So the straightest golf shaft was definitely the X1 in terms of curve, 21 feet compared to 24 and 25. 25 being the lightest, so the most that you could influence there as well. Yep. So that makes sense. Right, yeah. But let's take a look at the dispersion a little bit here. Yeah, I mean, there it is. That's the, you can see it a little bit with the LS. Three to the left, a couple to the right. Yep. You got the diamond gold, had that one all there to the right, and then the C taper was pretty consistent. Yeah. 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 And, you know, we let out with the C taper 130, and that shaft you felt like was nice and stable for you, but you were worried about how heavy it, it gets, like yep. especially in the longer irons, that's what we have to take in effect too. So, but overall, I mean, you know, when we're fitting players to Thomas, not only are we diagnosing what shaft or timing mechanism we need for a player, but getting that feedback on how it's going to feel for a player. You know, the heavier and stiffer things get, the harsher things generally get for a player as well. So it's great to come in and get fit for that timing mechanism or the right shaft, but then we got to pair, we always pair the head first. Right. Get the loft and spin preferences down first, then dial in east and west with a shaft difference. Yeah, and we can look at the numbers here, and who knows, numbers are, are, are pretty similar. Yeah. But one thing a club fitter doesn't know, and we don't know how the players feel. We right. don't know what they're thinking, what they're right. feeling uh, during the swing. Right. And that's why it's really important. Part of the fitting process is once we've selected the club head, then we mm -hmm. let the, the customer test two or three different shafts out yeah. and see how they how they work and ask them how they feel and we'll talk about the performance Correct. and we'll look at dispersion a little bit. But right. yeah, I mean, for me, as I mentioned, I feel like the LS, it was just something that was just a little bit missing there. Interesting. It, it felt fine, I like like the weight, but it yeah. was just, I, I was, it was missing that soft midsection, is what, <laughs> what I'm used to, is honestly. That's, um, that's funny. While the, the, the C taper, it felt just felt really stable. Yeah. But it just felt just a little, little too heavy. Okay. Um, from and also X100, just from playing a stepless shaft for a while and getting used to that. Sure. It just felt softer. Sure. Is what it felt like. Interesting. But it's hard to diagnose because I know these golf shafts. They all very. We're talking within five grams in weight. Right. They're all low spinning golf shafts. They're yep. all stout design. You know, they're designed to have good control for those yep. players that generate some speed. Right. But keep in mind, the feel is always going to be pl player dependent. 100%. And there's, there's some golfers that I'm, I'm shocked with what their perception on feel is when they come for a fitting. I'll ask them, how does that feel? And they're like, this one feels like trash. And this <laughs> next one feels amazing. I'm like, these shafts are the same weight, but the, where the, where the, the I guess the, the stiffness is in the tip mm -hmm. or the butt section, right. it really does make a difference with some players. Absolutely, it does. Yeah. Absolutely. So I, I think this was a great comparison. Obviously, it's a head you're used to playing. So you're in a great head for your game, 100%. We know that. Yep. But it's just a matter of shaft, right? Timing that up, taking into consideration the weight preferences that you have, and also how that's going to affect the longer irons and ball flight and that too. So those are all things we, have, we always take a look at through the tour van fitting process. So guys, if you liked kind of the co content you saw today, smash that subscribe button. Show, so show Thomas some love on how consistent that golf swing is and let us know what shaft you fit into. Is it one of these options? Are we thinking about going into one of these options? Tune in next time and we'll check out some more great content.